An average birch tree has 55 leaf blocks, each of them having a 5% chance of dropping a sapling without fortune, so there is a possibility of planting a tree and dropping zero saplings from it, putting you at a net loss of one sapling. Of course, in a regular Minecraft world you're not gonna run out of saplings, but for example in Skyblock it's a very real possibility, even if you play optimally. So I calculated for you the chances of a tree type going completely extinct. Starting with birch. When chopping down a birch tree you will drop on average 2.75 saplings. The binomial distribution displays your likelihood of getting a certain number of saplings. As you can see there's a 6% chance of dropping zero saplings. Let's say you start with just one sapling. You got a 6% chance of losing it in the first generation. However, even if you drop one sapling, the probability of a tree going extinct is still the same. If you drop two saplings, both of them will have the same probability of going extinct. So the probability of both of them going extinct is P squared, which is significantly lower than P. You can probably spot the pattern for each of the probabilities here. This is called a branching process and it will create a decision tree. I like trees. So to find the probability of ultimate extinction, you have to put this into an equation and solve it for p. It's about 7%. If you started with two saplings, it would be 0.5%. So birch is probably safe, but I can't say the same about jungle trees. Jungle trees have the same shape as birch, the trunk is sometimes bigger. Jungle leaves have a 2.5% chance of dropping a sapling, unlike every other tree which has 5%. This puts their expected amount of saplings down to 1.3 and starting with one sapling the probability of ultimate extinction is above 50% making me question is jungle wood even renewable? Well yes because of wandering traders if you ignore wandering traders it's 50% renewable and 50% non-renewable. If you don't have many jungle trees, you should use fortune free on every leaf and try to grow more mega jungle trees. They are significantly more sapling efficient. Here are the rest of the trees in the form of a tier list. So cherry blossoms practically cannot go extinct because they average 230 leaf blocks. Some guy found the tiniest cherry blossom biome in Minecraft and even this one tiny tree has 130 leaves, which is easily enough. Next is Azalea, which averages 91 leaves, but requires bone meal. Oak will occasionally grow into a fancy oak tree, or you can guarantee a fancy oak tree by putting some blocks near the sapling. Fancy oak trees are usually bigger than regular oak trees, but sometimes they can actually be smaller. Birch trees are literally oak trees, but without the fancy variant. Next is Tall Jungle Tree, which actually has the most leaves out of any tree in the game. In fact, it has more leaves per sapling than a regular jungle tree. Pale oak trees and dark oak trees are literally the same in terms of shape and rates. The only difference is that pale oak trees don't drop apples for some reason, even though they have oak in the name. But according to Mojang, that's an intended feature. Last is jungle and then the trees that cannot go extinct. Mangrove trees, as long as you have a single piece of leaf block, you can infinitely farm saplings with bone meal. Same with the nether trees, which, fun fact, they literally do not care about obstructions. Even if they have to grow into a single piece of wood, they will. And that's all of the trees. Now let's talk about some very rare possibilities in Minecraft. This is the smallest possible fancy oak. It literally has leaves touching the ground. With the right block configuration you can force a sapling to become one, otherwise it's extremely rare. And this is a birch tree with 61 leaves, so the maximum amount, because birch trees are guaranteed to have 49 leaves and each of these 12 spots have a 50% chance of being a leaf. So you have a 1 in 4000 chance of getting a tree with all of the leaves. This is a pine tree with 10 leaf blocks. It drops 0.5 saplings on average and you can only find them through natural world generation because there are no pine saplings in the game. So if you really want one you have to just build it using spruce. And just to make it even more confusing, if you place 4 spruce saplings they can grow either into a mega spruce tree or a mega pine tree. This is a theoretically possible azalea tree with only flowering azalea leaves. The chance for each leaf to be a flowering one is 1 in 4. So the chance of getting this from a sapling is 10 to the power of minus 55. It is technically possible to drop 55 saplings from one birch tree with a chance of 1 in 300 duo vision tillions. But you are more likely to win 9 lotteries in a row. Let's go even further. Fancy oak trees can have over 260 leaves. 
So possibly over 260 saplings from one tree. The chance of that happening is 10 to the power of minus 340. So equivalent of winning 42 lotteries in a row. It is also possible to drop a sapling, a stick and an apple from a single leaf block with a 0.0005% chance. So if you were to drop 260 saplings, 260 sticks and 260 apples from one tree, you have a chance equal 10 to the power of minus 1384, so 173 lotteries, which is almost the probability of me ever getting a girlfriend. My friend asked me a question, how many saplings would you need to make the probability of ultimate extinction practically zero? If we assume that below 0 0.001 is practically zero, then you would need one cherry blossom, three azaleas, five of birch oak, acacia and spruce, 14 for dark oak and pale oak, and 14 for jungle. Subscribe if you like trees. Bye.